We know that materials can go through deformation under temperature change. You might find that in summer, hot weather can cause blowout of tires. And in winter, you will find the low tire pressure light is on in cold days. As the filling material, air expands and contracts with temperature change. The cause of such deformation is, on molecular level, when a substance is heated, the molecules begin vibrating drastically and usually maintain a greater average separation. In continuum mechanics, we do not take molecule vibration into account, but we do need to consider the global deformation of the material under temperature change. In engineering, thermal condition plays a great role in design and analysis. For example, when designing a pipe for hot water, we need to consider that the temperature might cause expansion of the pipe material and leads to failure. Or in design and analysis of a circuit board, heat generated from some electronic components might cause excessive deformation of the board. To quantify the relative deformation, the strain caused by temperature change is called thermal strain. Note that here we're not discussing how heat gets transferred over a domain, how temperature changes under conduction or convection. We're looking at the deformation of a domain. In another word, our unknown is deformation instead of temperature. Heat transfer is a different subject. It solves thermal equilibrium instead of forced equilibrium. And it looks for heat flow and temperature distribution as results. Let's have a look of a typical problem statement with thermal condition. Say if we want to know the deformation of a GPU board caused by increased temperature. If the GPU is sitting in a room with temperature equals to 22 Celsius degree, and it's not in use, we can say that the environment temperature is 22 degree, and the temperature of the GPU is also 22 degree, because nothing is generating any heat. Clearly, in this case, we do not expect any thermal deformation. Now, if the computer is turned on and the GPU start to function, the temperature of some electronic components will increase from the environment temperature, and this will cause deformation on the board. And such deformation is what engineers are trying to quantify for analysis and design. Another point to clarify is, in our analysis, a structure can be under both boundary conditions and thermal conditions at the same time. In such case, the total deformation of a structure can be written as a combination of elastic strain and thermal strain. 